Okay, in this video I'm going to try to show you how to do a couple of things on your calculator. I'm going to assume that you've never really used your calculator before. Um, so if you have, you'll already know some of this stuff, but if not, uh, hopefully this will help you uh, get started. So uh, if you press the home key on your calculator, which is also the on key, it'll take you to this screen right here. Um, and you can see there's a couple of options. We pretty much never want to use Scratchpad. Uh, it doesn't have access to everything, and you can't save it, and it's just generally a bad practice to get into. Um, what we do want to do here, I'm going to start a new document. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to press the number 1. You can press any of these numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, um, to get to these things. So if I press 4, it'll take me to my current document, but I want to start a new one. So I'm going to press 1. Do I want to save? I don't want to save. And now it should look like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a calculator. So it looks like this, and you can do the usual things. So I can do 2 plus 3. Um, and if you look over here, you can see the buttons that I'm pressing. So if you get a little lost, just um, rewind the video, and you can see what I did. Uh, one thing in terms of this that you almost always want to do is if you're going to use a fraction, what you want to do is Control, and then the Division key, which you can see above it, there's a little template that looks like this. And now you can enter your fraction, so 3, and then the way you move between template uh, places, so I'm at the top right now, is I press the tab key over here, tab 5, and it gives me that, so 3 fifths. Um, this is the exact value. If I wanted to get an approximate value of that, what I would do is I would press control and then enter. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the previous answer and make it a decimal. So it shows me that 3 fifths is actually the same as 0.6. Um, and all that's useful. So a couple of things that we've been doing in class at this point is our, um, is or R. Um, if you press menu, you can see a lot of options here. One of them is algebra. And we definitely have used expand. So expand, um, parenthesis, which is over here, maybe x minus 3, and then I moved over one, so I pressed to the right once to get outside of that parenthesis. Another parenthesis, um, x, which you can see is on this bottom row here, plus 5. And when I press enter, it's going to uh, distribute and collect like terms. And we get that, which is really nice. Uh, something else that we've been using in class is factor. So if I press menu, go to algebra, and factor. Um, I could just have it factor the previous answer, so there's two ways to do that. One of them is control and then this uh, the negative key there, which is answer, so it takes the previous answer and factors it. Another option is, so if I press menu, three, two, eventually you just mem kind of memorize all those, is um, I could arrow up. You can arrow up and down and see what you've done before. If I arrow until, so I want to factor, until I have this rectangle around this, and press enter, it pastes down whatever was in the rectangle, and then I can hit enter, and it will factor it. Um, one other thing that we've done quite a bit of so far is finding common denominators. So uh, I'm going to use the division template, so control, division, uh, something like 2 over x plus 2, and then I'm going to arrow to the right to get out of the bottom there. I'm going to do minus, and then control, and the division template again, 3 over x plus 5, let's say. So when I hit enter, uh, almost nothing's going to happen here. Well, in fact, nothing happened, um, except this little yield sign came up. Um, that's just kind of a warning. You should always uh, be skeptical when that comes up, but there's really nothing we can do about it. So what I want to do is get a common denominator. So what I'm going to do is press menu, and then this one's... Uh, kind of kind of hidden. Uh, I'm going to go to algebra again. So, so far everything's in algebra. We want fraction tools and then common denominator. So it's menu and then three for algebra and then nine for fraction tools and then option four. And I want to get a common denominator for this previous thing. So I'm going to arrow up and hit enter to paste it down and then press enter. And there you go. It um, gets the common denominator for you. A really good way to check your work is to just kind of go through that. So those are a few of the things um, that I think are useful. One thing that I didn't point out that I noticed that some people, uh, I guess there's no intuitive way to know this, to square something. Uh, so I press X, and then uh, there's this button, squared, right, right next to the 4 there. 
Um, another option is X, and then the button uh, to the left of that X squared button there, that lets you enter whatever exponent you want. So I could do to the fourth, and then make sure you get out of this, so press one to the right when you're done, like that. Um, I had noticed some people had some trouble with that. Okay, so that's a couple of basic things that we definitely need to be able to do, and uh, if you follow along, now you can do them. So good luck with that.